بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو اے نیو ویڈیو آف کیمرج آئلز اینڈ دس از دی ویڈیو اباؤٹ دی کیمرج آئلز لسننگ اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سالو فرام کوشچن نمبر ٹوینٹی ون ٹو ٹوینٹی سکس فرام کیمرج آئلز بک سیونٹین اینڈ کوشچن ٹائپ از ملٹیپل چوائس کوشچنس دی ملٹیپل چوائس کوشچنس آر کنسیڈرڈ دی موسٹ ڈیفیکلٹ پارٹ آف دی آئلز لسننگ ٹیسٹ بٹ بلیو می دے کین بی میڈ ویری ایزی If you have a good knowledge of English language and if you have done a lot of practice in Cambridge IELTS listening tests. The first tip is that in the allotted 30 seconds, read the questions very carefully. Underline the keywords. Get the whole idea of each and every question, but don't read the options in those 30 seconds. Secondly, when the audio will start, Listen to the full audio, wait to your right answer. Because sometimes the IELTS listening audio will trap you. And you can avoid those traps by listening the full audio and marking the keywords on the paper. So you have to be very careful during your IELTS listening test. Thirdly, the knowledge of synonyms and paraphrases will help you a lot in solving the multiple choice questions in IELTS listening test because the speaker in the audio will not say the exact words which are given on the text on the paper. You will feel that the audio will be different from the text on the paper but the meaning of the audio and the text on the paper will be similar and you can solve the IELTS multiple choice questions if you have a wide range of English vocabulary. So let's start our today's test and we try to solve the multiple choice questions from question number 21 to 26 from the Cambridge IELTS book 17. So let's start. Part 3, questions 21 to 26. Choose the correct letter A, B or C. So it is a multiple choice section of the listening test. It is a dialogue between Diana and Tim who are veterinary science students and they want to get some work experience. By veterinary science we mean animal sciences. The title of today's audio is work experience for veterinary students. Question number 21. What problem did Diana and Tim have when arranging their work experience? What problem is the keyword? So we have to find a problem that Diana and Tim faced when they tried to get the work experience. Secondly, problem is a singular word. It means they faced a single problem. So in the audio, we can locate our answer when both Diana and Tim agreed that a specific thing was a problem for both of us. Option A, making initial contact with suitable form. Option B, organizing transport to and from the form. Option C, finding a placement for the required length of time. By placement, we mean place to live. Now in the audio, we should be ready that we will listen to something about all these three options. So we have to be careful because we have to find a problem that is faced by both of them. Let's listen to the audio. So Tim, we have to do a short summary of our work experience on a farm. Right. My farm was great, but arranging the work experience was hard. So in the audio, we listen to, but arranging the work experience was hard. This statement refers to the question number 21. And Tim is saying this. Listen to the audio further. What does Tim say next? One problem was it was miles away and I don't drive. One problem was it was miles away and I don't drive. This was a problem that the place he was working to get work experience was very far and he could not drive himself. Listen to the audio further. And also, I'd really wanted a placement for a month, but I could only get one for two weeks. Mm. And also, I would really wanted a placement for a month, and I could only get one for two weeks. So let's listen to the audio. What does Diana say? Listen to the audio very carefully. I was lucky. The farmer let me stay on the farm, so I didn't have to travel. Diana says, I was lucky. The farmer let me stay on the farm, so I didn't have to travel. We can say that finding a placement or place for stay is not a problem for Diana. And secondly, Diana did not have to travel. So organizing the transport is also not a problem for her. 
so we can very easily cross the options b and c and right now we have only one option remaining that is a making initial contact with suitable farms and we can say this will be our right answer without listening to the audio further listen to the audio to verify but finding the right sort of farm to apply to wasn't easy but finding the right sort of form to apply wasn't easy. This statement refers to our option A and it is problem for Diana. That in the start she faced problem in finding the right form. Listen to the audio further. What does Tim say? No, they don't seem to have websites, do they? I found mine through a friend of my mother's, but it wasn't easy. No. No, they don't seem to have websites, do they? I found mine through a friend of my mother's. It means that Tim got his workplace with the help of a friend and that friend was actually a friend of her mother. But it was not easy. So we can say that Tim did also face the problem in finding the form for work experience. So we can choose the option A, making initial contact with suitable forms is the right answer for the question number 21. Listen to the audio again. So, Tim, we have to do a short summary of our work experience on a farm. Right. My farm was great, but arranging the work experience was hard. One problem was it was miles away and I don't drive. And also, I'd really wanted a placement for a month, but I could only get one for two weeks. Mm, I was lucky. The farmer let me stay on the farm, so I didn't have to travel. But finding the right sort of farm to apply to wasn't easy. No, they don't seem to have websites, do they? I found mine through a friend of my mother's, but it wasn't easy. No. Question number 22. Tim was pleased to be able to help. So tip for the question number 22 is that we have to focus on the talk of Tim in the audio because Tim is the keyword. Ignore the talk of Diana, focus only on the Tim. Question number 22 is Tim was pleased to be able to help. Option A, a lamb that had broken leg. Option B, a sheep that was having difficulty giving birth. Option C, a newly born lamb that was having trouble feeding. Listen to the audio very carefully. My farm was mostly livestock, especially sheep. I really enjoyed helping out with them. I was up most of one night helping a sheep deliver a lamb. On your own? No, the farmer was there and he told me what to do. It wasn't a straightforward birth, but I managed. It was a great feeling to see the lamb stagger to its feet and start feeding almost straight away, and to know that it was okay. Mm. Then another time, a lamb had broken its leg, and they got the vet in to set it, and he talked me through what he was doing. That was really useful. So in the audio, what does Tim says? First he says, my farm was mostly livestock, especially sheep. I really enjoyed helping out with them. It means that Tim enjoyed helping the sheep. Further he says, I was up most of one night helping a sheep delivering a lamb. It means that he was very pleased when he helped a sheep in delivering a lamb one night. Then we listen to that Tim says, now the farmer was there and he told me what to do. It means although the farmer was on the farm, but Tim did what the farmer told him. It was not a straightforward birth, but he managed. So the answer of question number 22 is option B, a sheep that was having difficulty giving birth. And option C, a newly born lamb that was having trouble feeding is a trap. Because in the audio we have listened to that the lamb staggered to its feet and started feeding almost straight away. And we have also listened to about a lamb whose leg was broken. But Tim did not do anything for that lamb. The doctor treated that lamb. Let's listen to the audio again. My farm was mostly livestock, especially sheep. I really enjoyed helping out with them. I was up most of one night helping a sheep deliver a lamb. On your own? No, the farmer was there, and he told me what to do. It wasn't a straightforward birth, but I managed. It was a great feeling to see the lamb stagger to its feet and start feeding almost straight away, and to know that it was okay. Mm. Then another time, a lamb had broken its leg, and they got the vet in to set it, and he talked me through what he was doing. 
That was really useful. Question number 23. Diana says the sheep on her farm. Option A were of various different varieties. Option B were mainly reared for their meat. It means that the sheep were bred to get the meat. Option C had better quality wool than sheep on the hills. Listen to the audio. Yes, my farm had sheep too. The farm was in a valley and they had a lowland breed called Suffolk. Although the farmer said they'd had other breeds in the past. So were they bred for their meat? Mostly, yes. They're quite big and solid. My farm was up in the hills and they had a different breed of sheep. They were Cheviots. Oh, I heard their wool's really sought after. Yes, it's very hard wearing and they use it for carpets. Right. In the audio, we have listened to Tim questions to Diana. So they were bred for their meat. And Diana replies mostly yes. They are quite big and solid. So the answer of question number 23 is option B were mainly reared for their meat. Listen to the audio again. Yes, my farm had sheep too. The farm was in a valley and they had a lowland breed called Suffolk. Although the farmer said they'd had other breeds in the past. So were they bred for their meat? Mostly, yes. They're quite big and solid. My farm was up in the hills and they had a different breed of sheep. They were Cheviots. Oh, I heard their wool's really sought after. Yes, it's very hard wearing and they use it for carpets. Right. Question number 24. What did both the students learn about adding supplements to chicken feed? Both students is the keyword and adding supplements to chicken feed is a keyword. By supplement, we mean adding something in the food to get the energy. So we have to find what did Diana and Tim learn about adding extra things in the chicken feed to get energy. Option A. These should only be given if specially needed. Option B. It is worth paying extra for the most effective ones. Option C. The amount given at one time should be limited. I was interested in the amount of supplements they add to animals feed nowadays. like. Even the chickens got extra vitamins and electrolytes in their feed. Yes, I found that too. And they're not cheap. But my farmer said some are overpriced for what they are. And he didn't give them as a matter of routine, just at times when the chickens seem to particularly require them. Yes, mine said the same. He said certain breeds of chickens might need more supplements than the others. But the cheap and expensive ones are all basically the same. Mm. So the audio we have listened to and he did not give them as a matter of routine. Just at times when the chickens seem to particularly require them. So by listening to the audio carefully we came to the conclusion that the answer for the question number 24 is option C. The amount given at one time should be limited. Listen to the audio again. I was interested in the amount of supplements they add to animals feed nowadays. Like, even the chickens got extra vitamins and electrolytes in their feed. Yes, I found that too. And they're not cheap. But my farmer said some are overpriced for what they are. And he didn't give them as a matter of routine, just at times when the chickens seem to particularly require them. Yes, mine said the same. He said certain breeds of chickens might need more supplements than the others, but the cheap and expensive ones are all basically the same. Mm. Question number 25. What happened when Diana was working with dairy cows? What happened is a keyword. Option A. She identified some cows incorrectly. Option B. She accidentally threw some milk away. Option C. She did a mistake when storing milk. Listen to the audio very carefully farm have any other livestock diana yes dairy cows oh, i made a really embarrassing mistake when i was working in the milk shed some cows had been treated with antibiotics so their milk wasn't suitable for human consumption and it had to be put in a separate container but i got mixed up and i poured some milk from the wrong cow in with the milk for humans so the whole lot had to be thrown away the farmer wasn't too happy with me so in the audio we have listened to i made a really embarrassing mistake when i was working in the milk shed some cows had been treated with antibiotics 
so their milk was not suitable for human consumption. But I got mixed up and poured some milk for the wrong cow in with the milk for humans. So the whole lot had to be thrown away. It means some cows were ill and they were given antibiotics. Their milk was not suitable for humans and it had to put in separate container. But Diana put some milk caught by the ill cow in a container of milk which was for the humans. So the right answer for the question number 25 is option C. She made a mistake when storing milk. Listen to the audio again. Did your farm have any other livestock, Diana? Yes, dairy cows. Oh, I made a really embarrassing mistake when I was working in the milk shed. Some cows had been treated with antibiotics, so their milk wasn't suitable for human consumption and it had to be put in a separate container. But I got mixed up and I poured some milk from the wrong cow in with the milk for humans. So the whole lot had to be thrown away. The farmer wasn't too happy with me. Question number 26. What did both farmers mention about vets and farming? By vets, we mean veterinary doctors. Option A. Vets are failing to cope with some aspects of animal health. Option B. There needs to be a fundamental change in the training of vets. Option C. Some jobs could be done by the farmer rather than by a vet. It means that farmers can himself do some jobs without the help of veterinary doctors. Listen to the audio very carefully. I asked my farmer how much he depended on the vet to deal with health problems. So in the audio we have listened to, I asked my farmer how much he depended on the vet to deal with health problems. So after this sentence we have to be attentive. I've read reports that the livestock's health is being affected as farmers are under pressure to increase production. Well, he didn't agree with that. But he said that actually some of the stuff the vets do, like minor operations, he'd be quite capable of doing himself. And then in the audio, we have listened to that he said, by he, we mean farmer. That actually some of the stuff the vets do, like minor operations, he would be quite capable of doing this. It means that farmers can do the minor operations without the help of doctors. Yeah, my farmer said the same, but he reckons vet skills are still needed. And then we listen to that Diana also says that her farmer also says the same thing. So the answer of question number 26 is option C. Some jobs could be done by the farmer rather than by a vet. Listen to the audio again. I asked my farmer how much he depended on the vet to deal with health problems. I've read reports that the livestock's health is being affected as farmers are under pressure to increase production. Well, he didn't agree with that, but he said that actually some of the stuff the vets do, like minor operations, he'd be quite capable of doing himself. Yeah, my farmer said the same, but he reckons vet skills are still needed. Well guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please like the video, subscribe my YouTube channel and push the bell icon for the notifications of upcoming videos.